Hello, good evening everyone. Good evening all of you. Good evening and warm welcome from uh, Vaishali Kamda from Spark Academy. Hi, hello everyone. Um, last class we have, uh, I mean, uh, there was some problem and it got disconnected and so that's why we are doing living world again so hope you can hear my voice and see the screen properly can i have some quick comments please so who have joined please can i have some quick comments if you can see the screen properly and hear my voice clearly So yes, hello everyone, good evening all of you, warm welcome from Vaishali. So today we'll be go, uh, we'll discussing, we'll be discussing about living world only. So today we'll be uh, completing this chapter. So yes, that will include the tips and tricks and previous year and MCQs also with solution. So before jumping into the topic, let me tell you, yes, you can follow us on sparkacademyonline.com. Instagram, Telegram, Facebook, uh, also you can follow us everywhere. So you will be finding some important tricks and tips in form of reels and Instagram. So that doesn't, I mean, yes, so you can follow Spark Academy everywhere. This is our uh, team. So you can join us for free live classes daily. We are conducting free live classes on YouTube. Thank you so much, Kiran. Daily free live classes on YouTube in uh, English as well as Telugu. So whatever is your preferable language, you can uh, you can join that session, English as well as Telugu. So daily live sessions are there in that we share our uh, personal materials and free materials in app also available tips and tricks for MSET, J and NEET. NEET. Admission is open right now. Right now it is open for regular as well as long term batch. This is our schedule of YouTube. You can have a screenshot of it. Or just you can uh, press the bell icon for more notifications. So that's why you, that's how you will get notification whenever we are conducting class. But yes, you can plan your schedule accordingly. If you wish to join English class, then Monday, Tuesday, we used to take uh, biology, math, chemistry and English. Biology, math, chemistry, physics and English. And Wednesday, Thursday, same thing. In, uh, it, will be on, uh, it will be in Telugu. So remember that biology and math session, they will be a simultaneous session, session because for BIPC and MPC students. Okay. Uh, for Mondays, Tuesdays, it will be 5 to 6 bio class and for Wednesdays, Thursdays, bio class will be taken by another faculty and that will be 7 to 8 p.m. So, for joining the class, for enrolling, for uh, uh, getting admissions, you can use this coupon code that is VAI10. If you have already joined, ask your friends to join uh, using this code. And then you will get a huge discount on all, all our courses. Okay. So this is the weightage of this chapter, diversity in living world. First unit in the living world, the first chapter, most probably only one or two questions are mostly asked. So what we will be going to discuss today that we will be going to discuss about diversity just a second diversity in living world then binomial nomenclature or you can say taxonomy nomenclature And that especially binomial. Then 
taxonomical categories and difference between taxonomy and systematic categories which categories will start from kingdom phylum or for plants we used to use division Okay, then we'll discuss about taxonomical aids. Aids, that means helps. So in that, herbarium. Botanical garden. Zoo parks, then museums, then key. So this is about it. This uh, today's class. Okay, how you will remember? See, this is important to remember. This category is. All these categories in sequence. How you will remember it? There is one key to remember it. King PC ordered family Ganesha. King PC ordered family Ganesha. Or you can say Ganesh. In that we will, for S also we will be using species. Okay. So this is how we can remember. All of you can remember this in sequence. Even you can make keys according to your wish. Whatever funny sentence you want to make out of this this particular uh, thing to remember this in sequence it is most probably asked question from this chapter it is arrange the taxonomical order in a sequence or select the uh, select it from the options so that's why it is important to remember them in sequence so yes first we are starting from diversity in the living world diversity versus classification here So diversity in is the sum total of the variation in form and functioning behavior that has accumulated in the different line of the organism. So diversity that means sum total of the variation, different varieties of the organism present over the earth. So sum of the all this uh, um, living things they are known as diversity. So it is known as diversity. Sum of the total living species that is called Total number of species present over the, uh, over the earth that is known as diversity. Okay. Well known and discovered 1.7 million species is unknown. Biological diversity requires a sound system of classification to understand. Till today, 1.7 to 1.8 million species is unknown. So yes guys, this is YouTube class. You can still find the keys over here. So that key I have shared that King PC over uh, ordered family Ganesha. Next need for the classification of the organism. What is the need? There are millions of the plants and animals around us, so out of which uh, we only know the plants and animals in our in our own area 
and we call them by local names. But local names will not work here. We need to give them scientific names, some proper uh, common names, I mean, so that uh, wherever you go in, uh, in Earth, you will call them and you will get the same thing. Why the need to classify? It will help to learn the importance to estimate the internal relationship between the organism, the basics of the development of the organism, and thus develop the base for the uh, other science streams. Variety of biological studies are dependent on the identification and classification of the organism. Three domains of life. So, Woos, Carl Woos, in famous, it's, uh, he was a famous microbiologist and biophysicist who became more famous by introducing Archaea kingdom to the already existing five kingdom classification and thereby giving the sixth kingdom classification or you can say three domain of the life. Which three domain? Domain 1, Bacteria, Domain 2, Archaea, Domain 3, Eukarya. So, three domain includes these three domain bacteria that means monera all the prokaryotes archaea archaebacteria and eu eukarya that means eukaryotes all other fungi algae uh, plants animals uh, protists they are i mean this core one, two, fungi, animals. So, protists, plants, fungi, and animals, all these are comes in one domain, eukarya. They all are eukarya. And here we will be discussing this five kingdom classification in next class, that is about the biological classification. Yes, Kiran? My volume is full only. You can't hear me properly? Can you hear me now? Can anyone other, uh, can any other uh, uh, will answer in the chat section please? It's from your side Kiran and uh, any problem is there in breaking and uh, lagging behind in the voice? Thank you so much, Zaina. Okay, Nidhi. So, this basis, so basis of the 16 series, uh, he introduced Archie on the basis of the sequence of the 16 S RRNA. So, it is on the basis of 16 S ribosomal RNA, that is RRNA gene, which remains consistent, which remains normally consistent. That's why Based on the difference of the that sequence, they, uh, he has introduced this new domain that is Archaea. So, this basis of the 16S ribosomal sequence helped the microbiology science to achieve many new heights. Woos found that the six kingdom naturally join into the three major domain, Archaea, Bacteria and Eukarya. Okay. So taxonomy, what is the now what is the main difference between taxonomy and systematics? So synonyms of each other taxonomy is equal to arrangement according to the law, with law. Then systematics, that means grouping or ordering the organism with logical meanings. Who is its logical father, uh, forefather, or like that, I mean not likely forefather and father will be writing in the systematics, but the same type of species which we find them in, uh, in ancestral relationship between these species. Is. So, who are our ancestors? Who were our ancestors? So, we will get this idea from the ancestral idea we will get from the uh, systematics. So, it will uh, this type of uh, 
evolutionary relationship you will not get any idea from the taxonomy so this branch of the biology form uh, or postulates rules principles and procedure for the classification so taxonomy directs taxonomy directs a taxonomist how to classify means no one can go beyond the principles and procedure postulated by the taxonomy during his attempt of the classification the most popular definition of the taxonomy it is it includes identification whenever you find any new organism first you will do identification then you can give name to it then classify it according to the taxonomy so identification nomenclature or first you will start characterizing so that is characterization identification nomenclature and classification then okay all these procedure steps they are part of taxonomy Taxonomy starts with the Greek philosopher Aristotle and Theopetrus. Then the main goal of the taxonomist is to identify the species. Now taxonomy, the branch of the science dealing with the study of the principle and procedure of the classification is called taxonomy. The term taxonomy was coined by Kendall. It was coined by Kendall. The father of the taxonomy is Linnaeus as he classify the organism on broader perspective then centope is called a father of the indian taxonomy the fundamental sec uh, section of the taxonomy are characterization and identification as i mentioned characterization and identification it deals with the determination of the similarities of the new organism with the already known organism the nomenclature it involves the naming ceremony you can say binomial name or trinomial criteria we might use classification arranging them in a categories in all the taxonomical categories the classical taxonomy is based on the clearly visible morphological characters and however the modern taxonomy deals with the several characters for the classification external and internal structure of organism all along with the structure of the cell in it so development process of the organism ecological information of all the organism now it's about systematics the word systematics is system of meaning systematic arrangement of the organism according to latin language the word uh, word was first used by Carl Linnaeus. He stated that systematic is the relationship amongst the organism. So remember one thing when we consider relationship, relation between you and me not not that type of relationship. Relationship between we and our species and our ancestor that is known as evolutionary relationship. Okay. So when we consider this type of relationship, then this is known as systematics. Generally, the term like classification, systematics, and taxonomy are integral, uh, integrably or interchangeably used for the taxonomist. But some exceptions like taxonomist Simpson relate all of them to the separate field. So he defined the systematics as the study of the diversity of organism and all their comparative evolutionary relationship. Just a second. Or their comparative relationship or comparative anatomy evolutionary relationship based on comparative anatomy and uh, comparative ecology comparative physiology and comparative bio biochemistry so comparative physiology comparative ecology comparative biochemistry based on that relationship is made then use of systematics it helps in the providing knowledge of the great diversity of animals and plants it provides information regarding the evolution which took place among the plants and animals. 
So it makes easy for identification, which gives the useful information about phylogeny of the organism. Now here comes the term phylogenetic relationship or phylogenetic classification. I'm writing here phylogenetic and another term it is phenetic. Phenetic. So phylogeny that means evolutionary relationship. You're considering relationship here. Relations here. Phenetic that means based on the observable characters. Or you can write here morphology based on the structure, outer structure. Based on outer structure or observable characters. So these two terms should be clear here. Phonetic classification that means based on the observable, observable characters. Phylogenetic classification, phylogenetic relationship that means ancestral relationship. So it helps to identify newly discovered organisms through systematics. Then nomenclature. Nomenclature means the method of the naming organisms scientifically, universally. So there is a common name of organism in its local language. Like for banana, we use a nom locally we call it or uh, in Hindi we call it kela. But when you go to uh, any other country, then when you I mean if you ask kela, then they will not understand what is kela, right? So then banana in some German German or some Japan. Japanese language, it may be, I mean, some they will call it some other, with some other name. So, for mango, also same, uh, some different name. But if you say the, uh, I mean, if you use its um, biological name, then it will be common for all. So, common name change, keep on changing in uh, language to language. So that's why it is required to standardize the name of all the living organisms. So all these common names, they are known as vul vulnerable names. So names in the local or region language, they are called vulner vernacular names. So they are known as vul vernacular names. So they are main, many vernacular names that exist in the world for an organism. So there might be some nickname for me. So, Vaishali is normally what I am using in uh, all the official things. But that doesn't mean I am Vaishali. I mean, see, commonly I am known as biologically. What is my name? Homo sapiens. I am a homo sapiens. So, that's my biological name. So, this names vary from the, see, well, uh, this vernacular names vary from uh, uh, place to place. And country and even in the state. Now, scientific names, so these names are assigned to the organism from a scientific based on the definite rules and criteria. So, these are of following types. Polynomial, polynomial nomenclature, that, mean, that means we are giving a lot of uh, small, small names. Trinomial nomenclature, three names we are giving homo sapiens sapiens for animals. Mostly we are using three names, trinomial nomenclature. Homo sapiens sapiens, we, we used to write it with the subspecies name. Binomial nomenclature, Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus, Carlos Linnaeus established a binomial nomenclature, which was first proposed by Kaper Bohinin, express him in, in, in his book that is Benetz. In binomial nomenclature, the first word is generic name, which is written in capital, I mean first letter should be capital there. Second word is specific epithet, species name. You can write it in small, I mean the first letter it is small. Like mengifera indica lin. Here lin stands for lineus, author name. So after the end of the biological name, the name of the author is written in abbreviated form. 
so yes whatever initial you want to write for your name you can write if you are the author of that particular species if you find any new species 1.7 1.8 bit million only we are knowing so it, it, this science is very vast you any one of you can find a new species you can discover a new species and give your initials to that particular species so scientific names are in latin always why they are in latin yes can anyone can anyone answer why we use scientific names in latin not in english not in hindi not in any other language why only latin Why Latin? Why in Latin? Come on, answer. Yes, very good, Nidhi Kiran. Yes, because it's a dead language. so you can't change i mean normally we are not using this language in conversation so there is no chance of uh, changing or uh, any uh, type of uh, uh, abbreviated thing or any type of uh, slang you can make out of it so this is not possible in case of that language because frequently in conversation we are not using latin anywhere so it is known as it is a dead language So Linnaeus was among the several scientists who used Latin words, and no change can be made in the language. So this is because Latin language lacks synonyms. There were no synonyms in this dead language. So Linnaeus gave some principle of the binomial nomenclature for the around five thousand nine hundred species of plant with their descriptive ben. Uh, 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 in the book species planetarium and later he also found a book also sorry later he also uh, write a book of, for the animals including 4326 species so with their respective detailed study and published the book as systema naturae publication of linnaeus it was known it is known as systema naturae in 1758 Now, international codes for nomenclature, scientific names have been standardized through some international agencies. So these are the agencies' names, three given in the NCERT, and two more here I have included. So ICBN, that is the ICBN normally we use for botanical nomenclature. Okay. ICBN, International Code for Nomenclature, Botanical Nom Nomenclature. and international code for nomenclature that is icnd this is sorry here there is one difference this is i not icbn it is icnd then it becomes for bacteria so international code for nomenclature of bacteria international code for zoological nomenclature for animals for plants for bacteria then international code for nomenclature of cultivated plants an international committee for the taxonomy of viruses how we can give the name to the virus so for that we have a committee for the taxonomy of viruses you can note down all these points then taxonomic categories classification and worlds hierarchy of steps and levels in which every step represents a rank or a category so each category is referred as a unit of classification that represents a rank commonly termed as a taxon so each rank or a taxon in turn represents a unit or a level of classification 
taxonomical studies of all the known organism have led to the development of grouping the taxon on the larger scale with the common categories such as kingdom phylum division class order family genus species king pc order family ganesha so the, these are taxonomical categories First, we are starting from the species. A group of individuals, group orga, uh, individual organisms with fundamental similarities, they are species. Similarity is more in case of species. Remember this thing. The similarities will get increased if you go upward from species to the kingdom level. Then genus. Genus comprises a group of related species with has more characters in common in comparison to the species or genera. Family. Family has a group of related genera with still less number of the similarities as compared to the genus and species. Among animals, for example, genus Panthera comprising lion, tiger and leopard it put together in a genus then flies cats in the family Phalidae. So for dogs we have family Canidae, for cats Phalidae. Order, order and other higher, higher taxonomical categories are identified based on the aggregates of the characters. Common common characters together form aggregates. So order being a higher category is assemblage of the families which exhibit Few similar characteristics, not more similarities, but few aggregates of the similar characters. So the similar characters are less in number as compared to the different genera included in the family. Class, this is a category includes related orders. Order primata comprising monkey, gorilla, gibbon, plays in the class mammalia. Along with the other order carnivora then phylum so classes comprising animals like fishes amphibians reptiles birds along with the mammals constitute the next higher category that is called phylum so similarities are more in case of phylum different phylums or less write in your chat section similarities are more in different different phylums compared to species or less. Compared to single species, in case of one phylum, it will be having more similarities or less. Yes, I am waiting for your answers. Niharika, Nidhi, Kiran, Zaina. Yes, everyone. Can anyone answer? Okay, when you go up from species to the kingdom level, similarities decreases, dissimilarities increases. Okay, next it is kingdom. So all the animals belong to the various phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom animalia in the classification system of the animals. So kingdom plantae on the other hand is distinct and comprise all the plants from the various divisions. 
so we will refer to the these two groups as animals and plant kingdoms so taxonomical category from species to the kingdom have been shown in ascending order see ascending order you should remember it starts with the species smaller to the bigger becomes ascending so however taxonomists have also developed subcategories in this hierarchy to the to facilitate more sound and specific placement of the various taxa say for example as we go higher from the species to the kingdom number of common characters goes on decreasing that's what i have asked right now it's about taxonomical aid that means for classification of a new organism for identification of a newly discovered organism what type of help you will get from the resources bio resources that is taxonomical aid so biologists have established certain procedure and techniques to store and preserve the information as well as the specimens some of these are explained here first it is herbarium so herbarium is stored house of the collected plants herb name itself suggests that it is herbarium for use for the plant specimens only they are dried pressed and preserved on sheets so standard size of herbarium sheet is 11.5 to 16.5 inches then the herbarium sheet herbarium sheets also carry a label providing information about the date and place of the collection so english local uh, english local and botanical name and family collector's name everything is mentioned over it so herbaria also serves as a quick referral system for the taxonomical studies then second it is botanical garden just a second guys so botanical garden plant species is uh, in this gardens they are uh, in these gardens are grown from the uh, i mean for the purpose and each plant uh, each plant is labeled indicating its botanical and scientific name and its family then museum museum have the collection of the preserved preserved plant and animal both for plant and which is the taxonomical category or taxonomical aid we are using for both plants and animals so museums comes in that okay even see which is the storehouse for the uh, specimen and in that specimens are mostly preserved in preservatives museum zoo parks so these are the place where uh, wild animals are kept in the protected environments under human care and which enables us to learn about their food habits and their uh, their uh, breeding patterns then keys key is in studio used to identification of plants and animals based on the similarities and dissimilarities here we are making couplets couplets that means one contrasting pair of character we will consider so it represent the choice made between the two op opposite options whether it is short or tall like that so one is selected and other one is rejected so each statement in case of key is known as lead key are keys are generally analytical in nature so this is important point for keys so it is analytical in nature so question can be asked on that point that which of the taxonomical aid is analytical then it is key then flora so small booklet which gives the content the list of the names of the plant and books related to the botanical titles and authors and publication present in the given area book of the given area so boundaries are made here so in a particular area you are thinking about the plants present in the particular area so habitats we are mentioning here catalog it's a booklet which gives a contain of the list of the names of the plants books related to the botanical titles names of author publications so same thing in case of catalogs 
So again, I am reminding you all of you that you can download the app that is Spark Academy app. This is about till this point. This is about this chapter. Now do not go anywhere. We'll be discussing MCQs now. So let me re remind you all of you that you can uh, download the app Spark Academy. Look at the logo. That's the same logo you need to think about and then download it from your Play Store and then check the discounts over the all the courses and what all courses we are offering right now and any of the course if you want to join you can use the coupon code VAI10 so when you join the course then you will get all these things study materials PYQs mock tests written handwritten notes so admissions are open right now you can see here uh, we have three different branches ECL, uh, Narayanpura, and Mahdipatnam. So, MSET, J, NEET, Inter plus MSET, J, NEET. So, along with your Inter, I mean uh, Inter plus, then for that 10 to 4 is the timing, long term coaching, 10 to 4 timing, regular coaching. See, if you are uh, right now in 11th and 12th, then also you can join the regular coaching in the evening time, 6 to 8 p.m., 2 hours. School tutorial, we are starting from this year only. So, this is something new. So, for that, I mean, from the school only, we are preparing uh, kids. Uh, we are preparing them for IIT, NEET, J like that. So link is given in the description box for the Spark store. You can purchase all these things, any of these things from the Spark store. Mock test courses, uh, full length test, study materials, PYQs, PY, previous year solutions, everything. So online coaching is also going on. Online meet coaching, JE coaching, MSET coaching. So same code you can use to uh, join any of the codes that is VAI10 by Charlie Ted. On daily basis, on demand, we are conducting this type of live sessions, live session on daily basis. Okay, on demand. So whatever may be your demand, doubt clarification sessions, separately we are arranging. So, uh, all these things will be remaining in form of recorded sessions in your app if you can't join at the time. So this is how daily basis assignments are given. Whether they are uh, submitted or not, it's just checked. Then, on weekend test, weekend test results, it seems uh, just like this. So, this is our method. You can see here. So all of you, most most of you are aware of our method that normally we explain the concept clearly. Whatever may be the doubt, it is solved during the class also. Uh, along with the concept, separate doubt clarification sessions are also arranged. Shortcut methods we are giving. All model questions, exercise questions, PYQs, chapter wise test, weekend test, grant test, test analysis. Why only Spark Academy? Because we have highly experienced faculty, personalized coaching, we focus on the personalized coaching, right? So it is not likely that we are not aware of your names and uh, we do not uh, bother and we'll keep on teaching and we'll go. It's not like that. We'll focus on the personalized coaching, whether you are doing good or not. Any of the pro problem you are facing, why you are not attempting the exam, uh, what will be the target of your no next weekend test, all of this will give you personalized coaching. This is how. Process-oriented coaching, personal mentoring and doubt clarification sessions are also there. Limited batch size. That's how we can manage all these things because batch size is very limited. So yes, if you opt for hybrid coaching, you will be having definitely access to the online one. Offline, that means classrooms plus online. Books will be giving in hybrid coaching, not for the online coaching. For online coaching, online material will be provided. Online material will be available for both of them. 
weekly test, grand test, and that clarification. So for common for all, yes, you can clear your doubts personally in, uh, in classroom coaching. First question. Here comes the first question and I will be waiting for your answer. Which one of the following is not a correct statement? Select the incorrect statement here. Not a correct, not word. You should focus on the not word in every question. So this is to confuse you. This is this not. Normally what people do, what students do in a hurry or in exam pressure, they'll not focus on the not word. They just select the correct statement over here. So then your answer, answer becomes the wrong, becomes wrong one. So here incorrect one you need to select select quickly question number 1b museum has the collection of the photographs of the plants and animals yes this is correct answer you are right niharika 1b museum do not have the only photographs so in that we used to keep the specimen in uh, preservatives so this is how uh, insects box may, uh, I mean we will we'll keep insects and preserve in insect box. So killing and pinning, some specimens are preserved in form of jar with preservatives. Next question, the common characters between tomato and potato will be maximum at the level of, what are the PYQ guys? Common character will be maximum at the level of their genus, family, order, division. Come on everyone. Between tomato and potato. Yes, Niharika, Kiran, Vidhi, Zaina, you there? And anyone of any other has joined? Any other has joined then? Please answer in the chat section. Come on quickly. Only 10, 12 minutes left. Similarities will be more at which level? You can select the question answer like that. Obviously, the families are the characteristics of the family level pastries. The family level families are the characterized on the basis of the both reproductive and vegetative features. So tomato and potato belong to the same family. That's why at the family level, their similarities will be more. They'll be having uh, more common characteristics at the family level. Yes. No, it's right, Neharika. You were right. To be. See, if uh, without uh, without example, if they have asked tomato, potato, if they haven't given you any examples, then you can say the genus level. But here the potato, tomato, they'll combine together at the, uh, I mean their point of connection is the family. So that's why at the family level, they'll be having more characters common. Okay. Now, third question. 
Nomenclature is governed by certain universal rules. Which one of the following is contrary to the rules of the nomenclature? Which one of the following is the contrary to the rules of the nomenclature? Come on quickly. Easy peasy. Biological names can be written in any language? No, this is only the correct answer. This is contrary. Contrary. Okay. So A, third A is the answer binomial nomenclature is a formal system of the naming species. You need to get the name in Latin only. Then ICBN stands for ICBN stands for quick answers. Correct third 3A is the answer. Correct. Niharika, now it's about fourth question. Quick, quick, quick. Be quick. We have only few minutes left. International code for both of botanical nomenclature. So correct answer is the 4A International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. Indian Code, nahi. it's not an Indian Code, yes. So, 4A is correct answer. Now, fifth one, binomial nomenclature means fifth answer, fifth question. One name given by two scientists, that has become the binomial. Come on, quick, quick. You're right. 5B is correct answer. Yes, Nidhi. Correct, 5B. Just got your answer. It will take few seconds to flash your answer in chat. Sixth one. In printed scientific names, only the dash is capitalized. Yes, they have two components. Five B binomial nomenclature. That means one specific name consisting of the generic, one scientific name consisting of the generic and specific epithet. Yes, two components. For sixth question, answer is six C. Correct. Then seventh question, each category of taxonomical hierarchy referred to as unit of So you need of, come on quick. 
systematic identification nomenclature classification correct answer is d a classification you need a classification then eighth question systematic refer to so eighth question Okay, we are keeping till this eight point only oh, all these points yes you can join us on the telegram channel also these are your pyq's homework questions so have a screenshot of it which one of the following is not correct statement okay it was same only so this this you can have the screenshot of it Okay, send me answer in form of chat. Comments after the class. Then third question, the order generally ends with what is the suffix? Suffix we'll use for the order. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notification. These are our results results of last year park academy number of the students studying in this park academy complete detailed results after class after school tuitions thank you so much everyone everyone for joining the class thank you so much do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to uh, send your answer in form of comment section I'll wait for your answer. Thank you so much everyone.